to Big Blend Radio's Toast of the Arts and Park Show with Nancy and Lisa, and you just heard Sister of Vatten, Part 1, and that is the first track on Alternate Landscapes. It's a brand new solo guitar album released today by John oh. Durant, so excited to have him back on the show today. And uh, this is, it is a true sonic journey, as you could hear, and today is also National Space Day, so you see why I say we could go to space with that music. Bruce His Willis music. is still up there floating. And he needs, yes. Yeah, music. He needs us. Um, <laughs> everyone, go get it. It is out now. Again, it's Alternate Landscapes, and it's a follow-up to John's acclaimed album, album Parting Is, which is nominated for Best Ambient Album in the Zone Music Reporter Awards. Wow, cool. I know, very cool. Very excited to have him back on the show, but I encourage you to go to his website, johndurant.rocks, and that's John J-O-N. Welcome back, John. How are you? I'm very well, thank you. It's lovely to be back with you, too. Hey, I and know. happy Space Day. And, and happy mean, release days, day to right? you. Yeah, well, this is and, the thing. And who knew if I, if I had only known? Because, I know. Because there is actually a very important connection with me and space. I want to oh. know. One of my, Come on. Uh, one of my earlier records was actually brought up to the International Space Station. Oh, cool. Wow. Yes, indeed. That's awesome. I, that is neat. Yeah. I, it, it turns out my best friend growing up, <clears throat> best man in my wedding and I in his, is an astronaut and... Uh, is indeed the only astronaut to do back-to-back shuttle missions. Wow. Wow. Now, you know How because you you have left music in space, they're going to contact you first. You, you're going to get you. I'm, I'm going to be the first one. 
<laughs> I know, yep. Talk about visuals now. I'm getting visuals. And that's the thing. The <laughs> album is giving me visuals. Hey, do you know the composer, Glenn McClure? Have you heard of him? No, that, that's not familiar to me. Because he did uh, stuff with NASA and the space station and music. That's why uh, okay. I bring it up. Yep. He was one of the artists okay. in residence uh, for the National Parks Arts Foundation that we do the show with today. And um, oh. he goes, and he went to the Arctic, and he listens to the soil, and he listens to the land and creates music according to scientific data and all this stuff. Because like, okay. we look at a chart. I know. I'm going to send you a link to him because you Didn't guys. He did it through the ice. Yeah, he did it through the ice. Yeah. And then um, cool. he went to Hawaii, uh, the residency there for the volcanoes, and went and learned about the lava and listened to the lava and, and you know, we have weird conversations yeah. on this show. That's all I'm going to say. But, um, yeah, I wish you were on the show with him. That would have been cool. But this could be That would be fantastic. Yeah, it's a really interesting. There are some things that happen with, you know, sounds, frankly, sounds from outer space as well as, you know, sounds, natural sounds emerging from, from Earth are staggering. Absolutely it's, it's incredible. It's trippy. Well, listen to yeah. your album. This nobody would think, you know, if they didn't, you know, they just, you know, put the album in and listen. I don't think anybody would think that this is a solo guitar album. And it's the same thing with Parting Is, but this is like, there's like all kinds of this things in here. This is even more over the top. Yeah. 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 It could, it could be underwater. I would do an underwater movie. With I that. saw Jellyfish. Yeah. And I'm sorry, but you could trip out totally, whether you meditate or do other things, man. You can totally trip out to this album. <laughs> I'm just saying. Because every time I listen, I'm somewhere else, and I'm either floating with jellyfish or I'm, like, or going in a cave. I don't at know. Being the top of the sand in, in like, um, the yeah. Sahara, you know. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, because of the, the red ripples that the sand, the wind makes on the sand dunes and all sorts of stuff. It's calming, too. Mm -hmm. Yeah, if I I will say the other um, uh, just just uh, last weekend I I got to hear it in uh, in a fantastic context, which was I was driving back from Portland to Boston, and mm. my second morning we left Ogden, Utah, uh, before the sun rose, and mm. got to. Uh, drive through the mountains between um, Utah and Wyoming at sunrise with this record, and it it worked pretty well mm. on the soundtrack. I'll, cool. I'll I'll give it that. <laughs> oh, cool. I bet, right. I bet. You know, because yeah. it's it's a trip. Because when I first listened to it, I was like, man, I'm in the water. Then I'm out of the water. Then it, there's like some parts of it that are almost dark. You know, like I kind of feel like sure, absolutely. I'm going to have an mm -hmm. interesting meet, meeting with Darth Vader or something. I don't know why that comes to light, but it just does. And then all of a sudden it's okay. It's like you're, it's almost like you're facing fears in a metamorphical kind of thing, but wow. it is a journey that, you know, to me, you know, you know where we are now in Yuma, Arizona, we're on the Colorado river and these sunrises here. I mean, it is the sunniest place on earth. It deemed by the Guinness world records, um, World Book mm -hmm. of Records, it's listed in there. And when you see the sunrise in the morning, man, I've been walking around with bloodshot eyes, and everybody's not what you think. <laughs> but it's yes, because it I keep staring at it and photographing it, and I'm You're not right. supposed to look, you know. I know other people yeah, did during yeah. that eclipse, but, man, man, mm. this yeah. goes with it. It's river music. Mm -hmm. The other thing that it comes to mind is a cat stalking. You know oh, how yeah. slow they move with purpose. There's yeah, yeah. It, it's and they stare got straight ahead. A little bit of a of a mysterious sort of what yeah. what's really going on under the underneath the surface there. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and their muscles mm -hmm. are getting all tight, but their eyes are looking straight ahead, and they're not really they're gliding more than. Like yeah. Moving. So yeah, 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 yeah. Almost, almost like um, uh, what are the Harry Potter things? Uh, the um, uh, what are they called? You know, the the Dementors. Oh, good. Oh, that I like that name. The That's, Dementors. Yeah, this is a trip, man. The so politicians. I want to. I know. I want to know. <laughs> is it Sister Fotten? Am I saying this right? Yes. Yeah. And what kind of so mean? okay, what does it mean? Um, uh, uh, Sisters Lake. It's it's Icelandic, um, oh. and there's it's the name of a lake in Iceland, um, oh, yeah. and it's up at the top of a hill, 
in the south of Iceland. And apparently the story is that there were two uh, sisters, nuns, who were by the lake. And apparently um, there was a figure holding a golden comb in the middle of the lake. And one of the sisters went in to get the comb and drown. And the other sister then proceeded to go in after her and also drowned. Wow. Well, that's nice. Wow. And, and, and therefore, the, the lake is called Sister's Lake, Sister Mountain. Wow. Oh, wow. Because I'm looking. Bizarre story, uh, but a, a really beautiful place. And what was, what was wonderful is like a lot of uh, Iceland, there was nobody there when I was there. I mean, we, my son and I walked mm-hmm. three, four hours around this lake and uh, the whole area up at the top of that, that hill and not another person. Wow. Lots of sheep, wow. but no people. <laughs> when, when you cool. were there, um, like did, that. did you go on the, there's um, the waterfall of the gods? Did you go to that area? Uh, I can't, let's no, see, that, uh, that would be God Falls. I did not yeah. go to that one. I went to so many waterfalls. Um, hmm. uh, wow. Because the, there's all this yeah, lava stuff falls. out there. Like there's, oh, oh man, it's, no, yes. Dimu Borg, I'm just, uh, this is one of our travel writers, Debbie Stone, went to Iceland. Mm-hmm. And she said there was a place, um, a Dimu Borger or something in Iceland, it means dark <laughs> castle. I'm looking at her article. And it says that the Dimu Borger is the home of a homicidal troll, Grilla, her third husband, and their 13 sons, the Yule Lads. The boys return in the snow each Christmas to give children gifts or rotten potatoes, depending on their behavior during the year. They're each known for a particular habit or characteristics and are depicted as mischievous pranksters and petty criminals with names like door slammer, sausage stealer, spoon licker, and window peeper. So there you go. I, Iceland is fantastic, isn't it? I mean, <laughs> it sounds on, like it. Nowhere cool. else in the world do you get this stuff, right? That yeah, is awesome. Isn't that interesting, you know? I mean, how come they're so different? It's I, cool. I, that's the thing about travel. It's like you just, it takes you into another world. Mm-hmm. And, you know, and, and I love how, you know, because really all the, all the song titles, right, they're all connected to a place in, in the album. Yes. Yeah, cool. They all they all have a an actual location that means something specific to me. So, so when you're writing this, like how does this even yes. happen? Because you got to take us back to cloud guitar. I mean, all of I mean, that's insane sure. that you did all of that. I mean, and how how do you make it flow? And then like how how are you doing this, man? <laughs> so okay, so. I mean, there's a whole lot of technical stuff, which I'm going to not get into, at least as much as I possibly can. But so, for instance, on Sister Vatten, there are some things that are pretty clearly synthesizer, except they're played on guitars. So Mm -hmm. the rhythmic element, the sort of static uh, pulsing uh, notes Mm -hmm. are um, like a, a synthesizer sequence. But instead of playing it on a keyboard, I'm playing it on a guitar. Um, mm-hmm. Similarly, there's a breathy sort of wind instrument that is, it's a sample of, a, of a, an Armenian instrument called a daduk that oh. a lot of people found out about when Peter Gabriel did his um, soundtrack to uh, The Last Temptation of Christ, uh, Passion. So oh, wow. he had a, an Armenian guy playing this instrument. It's a really wonderful, evotic, uh, evocative instrument that just, there's nothing in the world that sounds like it. And I'm playing a mm-hmm. sample of that, but I'm playing it an octave below its normal range. So it becomes almost like a weird take on a bass clarinet or something. And uh, it has a really unusual timbre. Um but then all the textural stuff is the guitar that I process in ways that make it sound nothing like a guitar. And I use a lot of delays and, and run them around each other so that notes hang out longer than 
they would ever hang out in a normal guitar sense, right? So, you, you know, wow. I play a note and I can, by using a delay, I can keep it running for a while and build other notes on top of that and and um, make these textures that sort of flow, uh, as we were talking about, they sort of glide around. And um, the reason I call them cloud guitar is because it's it's like, a cloud. They have no discernible beginning or end. They just kind of drift in and out, and um, it, you know, it's and it's sometimes quite dense, like a cloud, right? Mm. Does that makes sense. Yes, yeah, it does. <laughs> I want to sit in the studio with you, but I want wine. I want to sit in the studio with wine and watch this. Like now, I no, feel like okay. I'm the cat it's watching. Cat. You know how cats watch human beings. I want to be the yes. cat, and I want to drink wine, and I'll watch you do this. The cat with the wine. Is that it? Yeah. I can stretch out like yoga. Wine, yeah. I want to be yoga cat. So, one time I bought an, an orchestral score to the Grand Canyon, mm-hmm. and I was mm-hmm. going to play the whole thing myself using my keyboard and then try to track it all so that I'd, I could, like, record one track and then all the others and then play yep. it back and I would be the orchestra. That's kind of what you're doing in a way, only you're using the in guitar. In a way, that's what I'm doing. That's correct. Yes. Yes. This Dude. is cool. You're like a <laughs> mad musical scientist, yeah. you know? Uh, a- yeah, that is an interesting way of looking at it. It's very, yeah, I'm, I'm very similar to that. You yeah. Know, I get in well, and, and I, and I chef, try to, see? you know, I try to transform everything. Take it from from the beginnings of a guitar, and then say, "Well, I don't want it to sound like a guitar. I want it to sound like something else." And so, how do mm, I yeah, make it yeah. do this or that? Or yeah, cool. Well, it's you know? stretching the instrument that you have mm-hmm. and taking it into another journey and on its own. And what I like is it does definitely gives you these different visuals. And I, I know Nancy and I are very much that way. But um, mm-hmm. when when I'm listening to it I, like Nancy's go, oh, I could be in the desert, I could be in the water, we can be Underwater. in these places. And yeah. I think it's nowadays people need There's to a... have this kind of music to detox and calm down and oh, sure. de-stress. Oh, sure. But, yeah, you know, because, there's... Because there's go not ahead. a lot good that's going on just now. And, you know, you turn on really? the news and, and <laughs> no you're kidding. inundated with, I don't know... Stupidity. Evil? Yeah. And... <laughs> yes, right? And I, and so I love, we yep. do. We need because it's it's too easy to get wrapped up and and you know on any given day, uh, you can find yourself you know shouting at the television and thinking, exactly. okay, this isn't good. No, yeah. <laughs> no, listen really. to some music. But I want I don't paint. And there's sometimes you know we'll, mm-hmm. we'll be, you know doing a music thing on the show, and then I'm like, dude, I suddenly want to paint. And yeah, there's something I I would love to see an event where your music is being played and a bunch of artists are painting. That would be fun. And wine has to be involved. Because <laughs> yeah. I see wine. It's, you know, this is um, happening. I think, I think just as a, as a general principle, we should, we should acknowledge that wine should be involved. In everything. Absolutely. Pretty much and, for anything, with the exception yeah. of driving, obviously. But yes. Yeah. Yeah. You yeah, know. But, <laughs> yeah. Do I you think, think you could. So, um, so they should also what, play way, this in airports and airplanes. As you're going, you know how people get all freaked out and scared of the oh, of what's going sure, on. Really? Sure. Yeah. They should play this during turbulence, <laughs> so you calm down. <laughs> I personally think turbulence is fun, but that's not for a lot of people. But this would be a calming thing, yeah. like when you're flying, or you know, I know that you're you know talking about taking on a road trip. Now, I want to play this in certain places when we go. On our trip, we're going to hopefully get to Rocky Mountain National Park this year. Let's go to the airport and, and oh, watch nice. the planes mm-hmm. take off and land to this music. Exactly. I see this oh, in fun. movies. Do you want <laughs> your music to be in movies? Oh, yeah, it would be, be fantastic. Yeah. Yeah, because I yeah, could also hear. It's a matter hear... of, you know, getting the right placement people to pick it up. But, yes, it would be it would be great for that, yes. You see, even the song we just played, and uh, I'm going to say it again. <laughs> Sister Vaughton, <laughs> if you know, to, it's an interesting thing because here it is, this calm, peaceful thing with jellyfish in the river, and uh, you know all this kind of stuff. Jellyfish in the river. It, some places do have that, and it's weird. Okay. But anyway, or you know, I just have a, I can make whatever I want in my mind. Okay, I can create anything I want. But 
at the same time, the do 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 the do 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 things that mm-hmm. that makes it almost like you could be in the middle of an action scene when someone's loading exactly. their gun and sneaking up, like Nancy oh, with the cat. Yeah. But it could be mm-hmm. like you know, this could be in one part of a Quentin Tarantino movie, like a little you know section just before mm-hmm. everything sure. goes down. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Sure. It's a setup. It's a sniper sniper music. Oh. Yeah, <laughs> sorry. We went from meditational and calm to snipers, <laughs> but but that's snipers. interesting yeah. how that happens. <laughs> you know, sorry. Yeah. So <laughs> the world goes in strange places. Yeah, yes, it well, does. I know, but this I love what you're doing. I think this is so cool. Now let's let's talk a little bit about the other track, Ciel du Cheval. <laughs> sure. Okay, did Ciel I pronounce that correctly? Yep. Okay, so. Yep. What's an Ebo? Uh-huh. An Ebo is a it's a handheld device that mm, basically uh it's got a, a magnet that vibrates the string on a guitar. So you place it over the, the string of the guitar oh. and the vibra- the, the, the magnet vibrates the string so so it, it creates almost like a bowing effect the way that a violin bow would, would you know, bow across wow. the string. This is creating a very similar thing. Um, they've been around since the 70s, um, and I've been using one. I got my first one probably 1990, and I've been using it since then. Yeah, really hmm. fantastic device wow. that, that basically – it, again, it completely transforms the attack of the guitar. And, uh, and yeah. yeah, and you've got a fretless but, guitar that you play. I know we talked about that with Parting Is too, um, but Aragon, yes. um, you use that, right? Yes, exclusively. Um, so Aragon and Ciel de Cheval, I should point out, are both um, just one guitar live. They were both. Um, a total improvisation start to finish. Cool. So there's cool. no let's, overdubs. It all it all happened live. Well let's wow. let's play Aragon. This is the second track so okay. people can get an idea of um the flow of the album. And this one will play the entire track. Uh you want to talk about where this was or do you want to do that after? Oh, uh, we'll do it after. Okay, so he wants to see what we trip out to this yeah, time. Yeah, that's right. Then people will have their own <laughs> idea, and then they'll go, oh. Yeah, oh. exactly. That's true, right? <laughs> yeah. So here it is, Aragon, everybody again. It is off of the album Alternate Landscapes, out today. Congratulations. That's so cool. We should be having champagne. What the heck? Uh, Wait, I'll <laughs> click my fingers, and it'll magically appear. Um, everyone again, guitarist John Durant, take a listen to Aragon, the second track.
You're listening to Big Win Radio with Nancy and Lisa, and you just heard Aragon, which is on the latest solo guitar album by John Durant, and that's J-O-N, uh, John Durant, and it's called Alternate Landscapes, and you can get it now, released today. Go to John Durant dot rocks and uh, aragon john i'm telling you that's the scuba diving one i hear scuba diving someone's in a shipwreck looking for lost treasure mm-hmm. right okay. Do you, sure. <laughs> and they'll go no <laughs> uh, no it could be a lot of I, things it could be like at night yeah because like there's the like dark stars. and light there's yeah. dark and light in that one we're in a series of caves there's, i think you're on the right path with water to be honest um, Aragon is a is a lake. Uh, well, it's a, it's an area uh, a region mm-hmm. of Spain, and very specifically, there's a lake where um, stuff for a picnic lunch, and it's a really mm. just gorgeous lake in the you know uh, just just below the Pyrenees, and um, mm. an absolutely spectacular. Vista from from which to just kind of sit and enjoy the the, the nicest um, uh, truffle potato chips I've ever had. I mean, <laughs> what what truffle <laughs> potato chips? Seriously? Oh yeah. You know? Yeah, seriously. Okay, wait. I want to know what exactly what was in the picnic basket. So they make yeah, potato really. chips or like chips. So out of truffles, I want to know what else is in there. I want the picnic well, basket it's, it's report. Truffle, it's truffle truffled potato chips. So they're potato chips, but with, you know, with truffles and like, you know, probably uh, hit with truffle oil when they came out of the fryer and everything and, and, you know, seasoned with truffle salt. And they're gorgeous. Just, mm. just wonderful. Wine? No, I was driving. <laughs> no. John, you need a driver. <laughs> I'm well. The problem is I like to drive too. That's the you know. Yeah, yeah, the, uh, I know. We did do an awful lot of um, on that trip. We did a, a lot of wine tasting and um, I bet. yeah, it was wonderful. So, oh man, but that's, this is awesome. um, But there's definitely a, a lot of water components, and I should point out the cover. If you didn't realize, is actually um, uh, that's a photo of. Um, the uh, Willamette River. I knew it. With the I bridge went. reflecting early morning sunlight. Uh, gosh, I think that was actually Christmas Day this year. Oh, yeah. Now, because cool. you, you, whenever you go over, I know we're even playing Willamette on our show on Wednesday because we're talking about Willamette uh, Valley wines again because we have a habit <laughs> oh, of great. doing that on this show. And I always play, you know, I'm like, oh, cool, we got the perfect song. But, you know, you post those photos on Instagram and Facebook of, you know, that beautiful bridge and water, and yep. you get that light just perfect. I mean, it's – it's we have we have something it's, in common on water and, and light. There's something about it that just – Especially, especially yeah, like the, the Colorado River here in the mornings when we go, there's a certain time like the that. light hits the, the river, and then all of a sudden you get missed. Yeah. And, yeah, and it's – it's, it's, it's it's an incredible it's cool. thing the way light plays with water, yeah. And what it does to your brain as you watch it, it's mm-hmm. just—it's one of my favorite things in the world. And, do you listen? Uh, do you hear music when you when you're out there? Do you literally hear what you want to play in your mind, or does that happen once you get? I in the do studio? actually. Yeah, a lot of a lot of times. Um, so a, a piece like Aragon, for instance. Um, I mentioned it. It's it's a uh, it's a it's an improvisation, and so and and it's all one guitar live. But but before I did it, I had the picture in my head of what the piece was going to be. I had the roadmap, mm. and I knew how I was going to I was going to build a rhythmic thing, and have a droney thing and what all the other elements more or less were going to sound like. And then mm-hmm. from there, it's all interacting with the bits that I've done and where does my brain take me? But as often as not, if I'm just sitting on my back patio, looking at the river, yeah, I'll get, I'll get music generating in my brain. Yes. 
That's cool, man. Mm. You know, and and that does sound like there's a scuba diver in there, the breathing part. You know what I'm talking about? Mm -hmm. Yes, definitely. Oh, definitely. And there's a whole, there's very much a whole underwater thing that happens with the the filtering that I'm using on my delays creates this very strange sort of verbally, uh, nothing ever remains the same. It's always moving, and it's always moving in some sort of undulating pattern, if you will. And, mm-hmm. and so, yeah, so very water-like, yes. Man, see, it's the same in the in the Sahara Desert when the wind blows. See, you exactly, see? I just went there. Yeah. I was it, like, you should have done the soundtrack keeps, for Dune. The patterns in the sand keep changing. He <laughs> should have done the soundtrack right. for Dune, don't you think? Yeah, that'd be cool. Yeah, you, but, you Yeah, and, I, so, and then I want to go back to the caves for a minute because there's – Caves with Nancy's under- the woman of the cave. Yeah, no, there's caves She's with water cave in them, woman. like lakes in the cave. Oh yeah. yeah, yeah. So and you know with weird lights, it'd be kind of like a Disneyland ride. Sorry, Disneyland, but this is better. You get in a canoe and there's weird lights and you're in a real cave with real underground lake hmm. and play that oh, music yeah. and canoe. Oh, and yeah, see what happens? I, be, yeah, be but I want the no, stunning. I want the caves of like the amethysts and stuff when yeah. you go in and like the salt the and all that. Caves. The crystal caves. <laughs> Yeah. yeah, crystal with, cave music okay. with different colored lighting. Yeah, man, mm-hmm. cool. Okay. You write some when are we going? stuff. <laughs> I don't know. I know, right? Hey, listen. So, is this the sixth solo album or the seventh? Uh, let me think about this. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Oh, lucky number seven. seven. You need to go to a casino so now. Yeah, right? <laughs> I love this. Space day and everything. This is perfect. I, so I know, now, right? Parting is, that is now nominated for Best Ambient Album in the Zone Music Report Awards, so that's happening May 18th. Are you going to New yes, Orleans? Yes, it is. <gasps> I'm cool. going to New Orleans, yeah. Sweet. Awesome. Uh, I'm, I'm really, I'm sort of blown away by the whole idea to be honest with you. And, and part of that is that I don't, I'm not the sort of person who conceptualizes I'm going to do an album in X style. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. I, I don't think, Oh, I'm going to make an out al- ambient album. Now I, I make music. And when I feel like, Oh, this, this holds together like an album, then I release it without any thought given to what, style it is, hmm. what genre, how it's going to, you know, fit into hmm. any sort of conventional right. marketable thing, right? So hmm. the very idea that I'm up for an award for, you know, a given genre is really strange to me. Um and and pleasing to be sure. But well yeah. Also I'm, you know, I mean, but it's it's really it's it certainly isn't why I do these things, um, but well, you've got integrity uh, nice to your to craft. Yeah, 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 of course um, you yeah. should be. I mean, it's, it's, it, 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 yeah. yeah, as as an artist, I I honestly I, I the commercial implications of of music have no relationship to what I do, if that mm. you know makes any sense. Yeah. I'm, mm-hmm. <laughs> You're the vessel. Totally, He's the vessel man. That's it. Just flows right through, man. Mm-hmm. So if a if a studio a movie studio said, "Hey, we're we're doing a a sci-fi movie, and this is what it is," because now I'm going sci-fi because all elements can go there, um, and they said, "This is what it's about. We want you to write some music for the movie." Would that be something you would do, or go like, "Yeah, I'll do it, it would be just let it happen." It 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 would be an interesting adventure. The problem is, um. The way that it, it, the 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 big pictures get done, there's there's an idea of what the music should be, and mm-hmm. so mm-hmm. somebody goes, you know, Hans Zimmer did this bit in this scene, and this is what we need. So, mm-hmm. composer, you need to do something that sounds like this, and that's not yeah. what I'm about. On yeah, the other well, hand, if somebody mm-hmm. listened to this record and went, you know, this would be great here, that's perfect. That's 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 the better way for me to work. Mm. 
it is the difference between painting a picture that you want to paint and taking a uh, commissioned order to paint what somebody else right. wants you to paint. It's right. pr- precisely that, yes. Yep. yep. Yeah. Now, okay, because the National one's Park Fund and the other well, ones is money. Okay, but now the National Park <laughs> Arts Foundation, would you go sit in a park with them for a month and, and create from your experience? Oh, that would be an interesting one, sure. Yeah, that would cool. Be we could go to Death Valley. That'd be you, cool. you should do Death Valley or yeah. Hawaii Volcano. Well, right? Ooh, that'd be cool. I, Hawaii you Volcano? Know, I haven't been there. Um, I've not been to Death Valley, but I, I really do want to go. It's it's one of those places I'm I'm fascinated by. It's, it's we might be there um, in the fall. Come on, <laughs> Come on. we're going to be there for Halloween. Yeah. Cool. <laughs> oh, Halloween! I might actually be able to do that. I'm. Uh, oh, that'd be oh cool. my God! We're going to be cool in Italy be, in, right? in September, but yeah, right. Um, yeah, that would be fascinating. Oh, that would be cool. Now, um, I want to talk about. C- Ciel du Cheval, okay? Sure. Um, this song is, I want to play this for everybody because we got okay. we got part one of it, right? And this is, because this, yep. is, this is a 20-minute song, and, and you don't care about the minutes when you're listening to the music. It just, like, it floats through it, you. It and kind of goes through you, and, yeah. Mm-hmm. I hate cutting up music like this, but everyone needs to go get yeah, the album, too. But it, right? It is, it is what I it want is. the tape. This is, this yeah. is what reality is. I know. Um, I'm well, going to give you TV. one, one word for mm. the the reference of the location. And okay. I'm a little surprised you don't know this. I do know is, what it is. It's, it's something, it's it's something very near and dear to your heart, as we've been discussing all day. Wine. Wine. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> okay, I get points. Well, get, as soon as you I do. Look, I do get points. I always get points. <laughs> I have one word for your entire album. Mm-hmm. And I thought about it today because it's so funny when you said one word. I was like, I wanted to actually play the one word game with you because I know you've got alternate landscapes <laughs> make sense with the album. But the one word that came up was amphibian. How Ooh, about that? That's okay. Cool. That's what I thought sure. about the yeah, album. See, because you go in the water, but then you, sometimes you got to come out and breathe. Exactly. I have a thing mm-hmm. about frogs. Yep. So I can't help it. Okay. But anyhow. Okay. <laughs> You've got wine. Nancy, do you have a one word? <laughs> for what? The album. <laughs> for the whole album? Well, he's got oh, wine for th- oh, okay, um for the song. I'm I'm still in the colors. Like okay. I'm in the in a artist mixing colors on the paint palette. Yeah. So I mm-hmm. call it palette. Palette. Mm. Palette. Mm-hmm. palette. Mm-hmm. Okay. Yeah. That works. Do you have a one word for the whole album, John? I think I think the the recurring theme for me has to be water. Mm-hmm. I agree. It's so, definitely water. So, so so certainly certainly it ties into your amphibian, and and to be honest, it also ties into the paint colors, doesn't it? Mm-hmm. Yeah. 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 I think you know what we always have so much fun when you're on a show. It's like it, it's never but like this is. You could take Vincent Van Gogh's paintings. <laughs> like, no, you could you could take Vincent Van Gogh's paintings and play with them with this music. I know. I want to do things. Oh, yeah. it's, be, it's cool. Wouldn't it it's be so fun? cool. Okay, so still do Cheval. I want to be able to play this time wise. Um, so it's wine, right? Is this in France, yeah. or am I getting my languages no. messed up? This is in this is in Washington State. Oh well. You know, there's wine there, so that's a yes, good thing. Yes, there is. Yeah. Okay, well, let's play it. Let's play it for everyone. Here it is, Ciel du Cheval. You drink wine when you paint, just so that's you know. That's right. Here we are. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. 
You're listening to Big Win Radio with Nancy and Lisa, and you just heard Ciel Du Cheval off of the album Alternate Landscapes by John Durand, who is sitting in with us here. Uh, guitarist John Durand. And John, I'm going in for more points. <laughs> okay. Uh-huh. So one of the sounds to me reminds you now you know when you're drinking wine and you sit back and you're looking at the vineyard and you're like what a beautiful day mm. the sun is shining and then you dip your finger in the wine and then you put it you rub your finger on the top of the wine glass and it makes that sound that that ringing yeah absolutely yeah. Mm-hmm. do I get points yes <laughs> yes no. and and you know gosh I haven't used that for years but I I've been known to do do that very thing and what you have to do is then take the <clears throat> measure the amount of, of liquid wine mm-hmm. that you need in the glass to, to get the pitch that you want it to be and so you mm-hmm. got to drink a little bit to get you know get it down to the pitch you want it to be <laughs> or fill the glass up a little more if you need it you know I love this. I love this. Here's 10 bottles of wine, 10 glasses, and you're going to make a little orchid <laughs> right, and you can thing. Right? That have to have it, it's got a vibe to yeah. me. One of my favorite albums is Passages uh, with Ravi Shankar and Philip Glass. Mm-hmm. And it oh, yeah. has that vibe to yeah. me. Like, you know, it's like you could be actually just, I don't know, now I'm on a dirt road. I have sandals. Now, see, to me, I'm not Jesus, but I'm on a dirt road. I just think you know. it's the sun rising. Yeah. Well, see, I know. Ooh, sunrise over the vineyard. Mm-hmm. So, so sunrise over the vineyards in Walla Walla, Washington, might be a. But this is. I've spent enough time. You just there wanted to, to say Walla to say Walla. Say <laughs> I, well. Walla so, Walla, uh, Bing Bang. Oh oh. The Ciel de Cheval is horse heaven, right? Horse mm. Heaven Hills is is up above the Columbia, um, just west of Walla Walla, and there's a there's a winery that I'm particularly fond of um, named Seven Hills, who get some uh-huh. of their grapes from there. Ah, mm. I like this. Ooh, I wonder if they cool. they got the name from the Purple People Eater, the Walla Walla um, Bing Bang. No, I know, <laughs> you know, but Walla Washington has. You know that in the Yakima Valley area, and then there's yeah. like an area, mm-hmm. yeah, Morvedre. They make the best Morvedre yes. out there. Yeah. Mm. Yep. Well, oh, I'm yeah. thirsty. I'm thirsty. Yeah. It just hit <laughs> noon here where we are. Yay, See, finally. <laughs> Friday, we can do that. But listen, listen, uh, John. Um, I want to talk about the fourth one. We're going to play the clip from that too. But I've got a couple other questions before we get there. But I just want to say this, Dinkle, Dinkle's Buell? <laughs> Dinkle's Buell. Dinkle's oh, Buell okay. is a, it's a walled city in Germany. It's an old um, medieval walled city. And mm. I was there in 1980. I was a, um, I, was, I was on this tour. It was like a high school jazz all-stars tour kind of thing um and among the places we went uh on on this two week thing was we we went to Dinkel's Buell and it happened to be an important moment for me um mm. which was that we did one of these pieces that you know jazz bands used to do high school jazz bands that um back in those days you know they had to have they wanted to have some rocker pieces to kind of you know be relative to the youth of today and um they were always awful i mean just crap <laughs> and but of course um they because they're rock tunes ish they they feature guitar solos and i mm. so of course i had a big guitar solo and and in rehearsals in new york i was like well let me you know go to a little distorted thing almost alan holdsworth like right and the band director hated it. Absolutely, he was like, "Don't do that. That's that's rock. That's not jazz." And I'm like, "But it's a rock song, you know." And um, anyway, but I was, you know, I was 16 years old. Well, you know, okay, fine. But when we got to Dinkel's Buell, I said, "No, you know what? I'm going to let it go tonight." And um, crowd of drunk German people uh, in Dinkel's Buell went absolutely bananas for it. And wow. the band director <laughs> scowled while I was doing it, but when the crowd erupted afterwards, he was like, oh, what am I going to do? 
Mm-hmm. So, so it was on that night that I realized I just have to do what I have to do. I, I can't live by somebody else's rules of, of what music is supposed to be. Yeah. No, yeah, that's true. that's important. I mean, that goes mm-hmm. with our conversation today, you know. And I think that's yeah. any art. I mean, that's, you know, I look at, you know, Nancy and I, I we are, we're in our own business, you know, especially on the creative side of magazines and all that, so that we yep. can do, because we're not good at people telling us what to do. <laughs> I mean, we're really yeah. not. <laughs> I, I think it's not enough wine. We all get along <laughs> so well, right? No, no, we're, we're simply we've, not we've people that are going to accept somebody else, you know. And now, like, uh, that, but then you end up drinking tequila. <laughs> well, no, but there's, there's you cultivate a look, you know. And it's not a pleasant one. No, Nancy, <laughs> Nancy, Nancy does the eye roll. Yeah, but it's not really an eye roll. It it actually spells out letters. <laughs> yeah, I know, it's, and we won't do that on this show. Uh, before you go, John, gosh, I, would, I mean, I wish we could just sit and do the whole show. It would have been so much fun to just do the whole album. But, I, again, I want everyone to go get it. So alternatelandscapes.com, everyone, uh, not .com, Alternate Landscapes is where you go, but go to John Durant dot rocks. Um, you've got on Alchemy Records, you know, that, that is just such, like, that's cool. Alchemy, that, that is, that's you know, cool. that, that's the best name for your, yeah, your label, cool. you know. Um, but you work with a lot of different people. And you've got a couple new things coming out this year? Yes. Yes, I do. Um, so in the in the midst of all of this, uh, you know, last time we talked about this album I was doing with a Ukrainian mm. singer. Yeah. Mm-hmm. It's done, and I'm excited as heck about it, cool. but it isn't going to be out until October. And, and the reason was just the technicality. We needed to sit on it because um, Colin Edwin, the bassist, and you know my my partner and all of that um, had a big release this February, and they were out on tour in Europe, and the label really wanted him to not release another album in that time frame mm-hmm. because they really wanted to promote that record and not have confusion. And so we agreed, okay, we'll we'll sit on it. So, and the thing that we mixed the album in. Uh, London uh, last November and I was really excited about it. The singer Ina Kovtan mm-hmm. um, just, she's so great, so wonderful and we had such a fantastic time hanging in London together and at the end of it she sang one night uh, there's a, an ambient group uh, in London called Dark Room and they asked me if I if I would invite her to come and sing with them and do an improvisational thing with them and it was incredibly inspiring it was absolutely spectacular and so i got back to portland from from that trip um absolutely buzzing from all of that and then found out oh well we're we're gonna have to sit on the album for a little while okay fine that's what Mm -hmm. actually prompted me to do this record was because i was so inspired by what i saw that I I wanted to do something very different from what I've been doing that may be closer mm. to what they were doing. And um, and I had actually, Ina and I have talked about doing more work in this range with her singing with some of oh, these neat. kinds of things, which could be really interesting, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah I love that because you just really stretch. She's really exciting. You keep yeah. stretching and you stretch things. I mean, just even what you do with one guitar is like insane. <laughs> and I, I mean, it is. It's um, insane. And it's, yeah. I, you know, so I'm, I'm just saying like one type it's of not instrument. normal, that's for sure. But no, you know, and why funny. should so, it be? So normal be, sucks. It's normal boring. <laughs> normal sucks. You know. So, so on top of that, I'm in the middle of producing uh, an album by my brother Kingsley, who's a mm. really fantastic normal guitarist. Um, man, that's some delicious stuff, though, so, man. I listen, sort of, you sent me a track. I'm. You better call me when this is out, man, because this is oh, yeah, in both, yeah, yeah, both yeah. albums. I, you, you know, you, you will know, because because this this album is like I, I, the only way I I figured out I could describe it to somebody is like if Steely Dan did an instrumental record in 1976, it might be something like this. It's. 
I you just, know. I wrote down, you sent me a track, Tell Me Some Good News, and you also sent me some from, yeah. I call it the Ukrainian album. Um, and I was like, yeah. dude, this is some just amazing stuff, and it kind of takes me into Africa and everything, too. Um, but your your brother, Kingsley's album, uh, Tell Me Some Good News, I was like, man, this is some funky, jazzy goodness, and it's sure. like, man, it, it just goes, it's, and then all it, of a sudden, here comes the, the exactly the the guitar over, like, what the heck? I didn't expect that in there. You know, towards the end, there's like that, dude, oh, I'm yeah. screaming through. Yeah, I was like, off and it's like, okay, wow. here we go. <laughs> it's super, yeah. you're right about Steely Dan. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Yeah, Man, you got to keep know, us posted. It, I, I will certainly do so. It's really an interesting album. And what I love is, is that, you know, he and I grew up together listening to the same music. And yet, as players, right? We couldn't be more different from one another. Oh, but that's Which beautiful. Is, you know, cool. yeah, yeah. And, mm-hmm. and that's what's great. Yeah, exactly. You know, we we kind of look at each other and go, "Yep, okay, you got something completely different out of this than I did," and that's what's beautiful about it. But that makes it good. I love it. I love yeah. it. Yeah. We've got to run, John. Um, everybody again. Yeah. The Agreed. album. All, I know, man. It's like we've been doing good here. <laughs> Everyone, the album is Alternate Landscapes. Go get it now. John Durant dot rocks, and it's John J O N. And we're gonna play Dinkles Boo. I, hey, Dinkles listen, Bill. I didn't. You know, everybody thought I was gonna say something else. You know, you know what? You know. <laughs> and I've been very good, and I won't. I won't. I'll be good. But here it is, everyone. Dinkles Bull. Thanks, John. You take care, and we'll keep in touch. Take care. Okay. Thank you. Bye-bye.